Economic nationalism and isolationism is on the rise. This was signalled by President Trump's early decision to sound the death knell for the Trans-Pacific Partnership, and by the British people choosing to leave the European Union through Brexit. This has left many countries scrambling to sign new agreements and the realignment of regional trade pacts. But why is international trade important? President Trump's inauguration speech said that protection is prosperity and that it's going to be only America first. What happens if America only buys American, Australia only buys Australian, and Malaysia only buys Malaysian, and so on? Well, that's right, you get a worldwide economic collapse just like in the 1930s when tariff hikes and beggar thy neighbour policies went hand in hand with mass unemployment. By contrast, open trade is associated with jobs and prosperity. As the world has integrated in the last few decades, the share of the world population living in absolute poverty has fallen from 43% to less than 10%. International trade has proved to be one of the world's greatest ever anti-poverty programs, and no more so than in Asia. So why does trade matter to Australia? Well, Australia has been a trading nation ever since the indigenous people of Arnhem Land traded sea cucumber with the people of Makassar, now part of Indonesia. And our reliance on trade continued as a convict colony after European settlement. In fact, according to the celebrated historian Geoffrey Blaney, the penal colony of New South Wales was saved by the growth of Pacific commerce. And ever since then, Australia has been dependent on importing foreign capital. And we have needed exports to pay for our imports as our economy has developed and our population has grown with it. And we can't just export and not import. That would be unacceptable to our trading partners and bad for us. After all, much of our exports depend on imports too. For example, Qantas may import planes from Airbus or Boeing, but with those aircraft they carry plane loads of tourists and international students to Australia and create export revenue. And two thirds of our exporters are importers too. And those exporters pay 60% higher wages on average than non-exporters, provide better health and safety and equal employment opportunity. And in the end, trade is good for workers as well as the businesses who employ them. So whilst Trump turns his back on trade and the UK on Europe, should Australia worry? Well, since Japan took over the UK as Australia's number one export partner in 1966, Australia has been looking to Asia with China, India and ASEAN following Northeast Asia's lead. Australia will soon have more trade packs in Asia as the power of proximity replaces the tyranny distance in the Asian century. Because after all, as our economic history shows, Australia's path to prosperity depends on our success as a trading nation.